The goal of a sales page is to sell your product, obviously. But the goal of a sales page is really to get people to believe that they can achieve your promise. All right, so one of the first things I do with sales pages, this I actually got from, I wanna say Frank Kern or Dan Kennedy. Frank Kern, Dan Kennedy, great sales page writers. There's always, they always talk about there's two stories happening on a sales page. And the two stories of the sales page is always the story that you're telling and the story that people are receiving. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is, he says most people when they see a sales page, they're not gonna read it unless you're really gonna get their attention. They basically read just the headlines. Yeah. So when you're writing a sales page, you almost wanna write your sales page as a one-page sales page with just headlines. And basically read through your sales page from top to bottom, reading just your headlines and see if the story gets told. Okay. And then what ends up happening is they see each individual headline and they're like, oh, that's interesting. They zoom in and look at that headline. So that's kind of how it works. And it's just something to think about. You don't have it to have it perfect. If you look at some of Frank Kern's stuff, he really does this. Would you like me to personally double truly even clutch your leaders for free? You pay nothing ever. That's why this is the closest thing to free money you'll ever see. So why would I offer it? But basically, it's you kind of get the story and the key hitting points in each, in each headline. That's actually a big mis uh, sales page mistake that I see a lot of newer people making when they create sales pages. They make the headline sound good, but they don't back up the headline. So if you're gonna make a promise like this, you need to show them this money. So when I went down this route, just because this is something that I've done before. It's like 3,000 zero the next, freelancers hate it, regular income, here's why it happens and how to fix it. So I'm basically mentioning here's the big bad guy, the irregular income, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. And then the whole blog post is about proving it. So I start off with like, you know, here's the setup, as you would say, the conflict, here's the real problem that plagues the people. Then we, at first you might think, I just need more clients every month, but is that really the answer? Because you always need more clients. Like basically this is me trying to show them that where they're, I know where they're at. Then we kind of go into a little bit more detail, right? If you're gonna make a promise about money, you gotta show them the money. Okay. So I, I made more than 28,000 from a simple course. First I tell them, look how bad I am on video to show them it's okay to be bad on video. Then I go into, I sold this course for about $100. Here's exactly what I gave people, because people are always asking, what do you give people in these courses? They think that a course needs to be this 15-week thing. I broke it down and showed them it was only three videos. a recorded screencast and this. Then I invested, made the course, but here's my real revenue notes by income source and how they changed. 2011, services to courses, services to courses to courses. But I'm showing them the money, right? So it's very important that if you're gonna make a, a a promise of money in a headline, or a promise of any numbers or anything like that, you need to show them that. Okay. Like, all right, if I'm gonna show you how to add five to $10,000 per month, great. Here's me making no money before 5,000 per month. Here's me making this per money per month, and here's how it happened. Mm -hmm.